everyone checking back in on crypto getting my voice back a bit not really missing a whole lot the daily time frame trading sideways want to point out an example where we had a daily inside bar bear break but this is the kind of example where this break occurred only because time rolled over and the candlestick changed if we zoom in on the four hour time frame and look at the details, we never broke the tightening pattern. So what happens when that occurs, and this is why we always need to go back and look at the actual details. We had our low, high, higher low, lower high. We started pulling back. And in this consolidation, the candlestick rolled over right here before we pulled back, found our support level, which was a couple dollars above key support, and then stayed in the tightening range. So had that daily candlestick not rolled over at that moment, you know, had it been 12 hours later, we'd still be in inside bars. So that's why it's always important to check those details. Inside bars are a way to, to simplify things and make it easy visually to pick out patterns. But there are instances, I'd probably say it's maybe even less than 10% of the time, but there are instances where an inside bar, if you zoom in, an inside bar breaking, if you zoom in, it hasn't broken the pattern. And that's also why if you zoom in, you can sometimes get earlier signals than what the broader, longer time frame would tell you on that inside bar. So an example of that would be, you know, if I have another little lower high, let's say this is the high of the day, and we're in an inside bar, and I form another lower high, and we tighten up, and then the daily candlestick changes. I have a two resistance levels in here on that daily candlestick, but if you're only looking at the daily inside bar bull break, you're missing the break of the first resistance level, which could give a little bit of an early heads up. So what we have is a tightening four hour pattern and we're going to be looking for a break saturday or sunday and that's becoming a common theme i'm certainly recognizing how i say that a lot where you know things are tightening and a break is imminent this weekend so it's almost like the weekend is when some action picks up but still looking for a higher low to form here compared to 3541 no indication that the higher low has been established just yet and when we see a shift in momentum you can see every four hour candlestick is a lower high here and actually take that back by you know a dollar or so but this is an example you know I'm, we have a member who's trying to work on their uh, recognition of trends and higher lows and lower highs so as analysts we have a lot of wiggle room in terms of our interpretation of things so i look at this and my general guideline of when do we set a higher low is when this candlestick pattern of a lower high every single time breaks so if we were to form an inside bar and then break bullish, that's the pattern of a lower high every single candlestick breaking. And then we say, all right, now our higher low is established because we've shifted that momentum. In this instance, what I was just about to say, I looked at it and saw, well, we actually had a higher high by a dollar and 25 cents. But I can look at that and say, no, that wasn't a bounce attempt to give us another lower high. I can, you know, erase that. And it's a general rule that I say, lower high every candlestick breaking means we have our higher low established, but it's not a set in stone rule because there are little instances like that where you have some open-ended interpretation. So that's what we're waiting on. Don't even really need to zoom in much more than that. The four hour time frame. Again, if we get the bull break on the daily, we're just looking for a lower high compared to 41.15. If we get the bear break, we're looking at 34.81 and then the all lo the all time low since the crazy run that is 31.29. Ethereum a little bit weaker, not significantly so, but it's a little bit weaker because the fork was delayed on Ethereum. So we had the same kind of tightening four hour pattern. So we've got our low, high of the bull move, higher low, lower high, just barely a higher low, lower high, and we have not formed the higher low yet. 11712 key support. And again, same thing. This candlestick broke to a little higher high here, but that was not a significant bounce attempt at all. There's no volume behind it. I'm considering it this the same pullback looking for the higher low that has not been established yet same thing that i just said sideways trading if we get the bull break we're looking for a lower high if we get the bear break there's a lack of support we're looking at 105.30 and 100 psychological ltc sideways on the daily same thing everybody's correlated here what we have seen in the market recently is altcoins some of the low name or low level altcoins and some that i've never even heard of are seeing some nice pumps and so there are some members that we have that are, you know, trading that volatility. And it's almost like right now we're acting in a vacuum. As Bitcoin trades sideways, it allows these little altcoins to break correlation with Bitcoin easily because Bitcoin's trading sideways. So that dollar volume comes in, breaks the correlation, 
and we don't have to have any downside pressure because the last thing you want to see if you're bull breaking on an individual coin is for Bitcoin to then see a bear break. So if Bitcoin's trading sideways, the correlation is not significant, and that's when we can get some more freedom on these individual names. So here's Litecoin's tightening equilibrium. Again, here's one where we broke to a lower low by 13 cents. But judging by the reaction, there's factors that I take into play here. Am I going to call that a lower low? No. I'm going to call that a double bottom for a number of reasons. Number one, and most importantly, Bitcoin held its support. So that's important. Number two, the reaction to breaking that support. It broke by 13 cents. The bulls instantly bought that dip and responded with, you know, clearly a bounce off of support. So that's, again, my prerogative as an analyst to say that is a double bottom and that held support. So again, technically, no, it did not hold support, but it held support. So we're looking for the higher low. It hasn't held yet. It hasn't formed yet. Daily time frame, same story. We would look for a lower high on a bull break compared to 41.27. And we would look down to support of 27.48 if we get that bear break. XRP, a little bit weaker. We're coming close to the lows here. So the low on XRP on this daily chart recently is 318. And we're not that far above that support level at this point. And if we look at the four hour time frame and compare it to everybody, we clearly just broke bearish. We're not getting a ton of follow through, but we're not getting that quick spike and save to tell us, oh, it's just a, a hold of support. So this is potentially a little early indication. Maybe we're going to see these other names break bearish. If XRP is already starting to break bearish, not to say that XRP is running the market, but it's the when when all else is equal, if individual names are breaking in a certain direction, that's you know tilts the scales a small amount on which direction we can anticipate everybody to break. So very clear lower highs, and anything under three three seven is just another lower high on the four hour time frame. Next support is down at three one eight. TRX USD also tight, so certainly feeling the same kind of correlation here to. Bitcoin and the rest of these altcoin or these names that are tightening up here. So we got our low, higher the bull move, higher low, lower high. So here's one that was a clear bull break, which does stand out and it gives an advantage to the bulls. So that just looking at those two setups right now, XRP more bearish and TRX more bullish because we got that bull break and still maintaining higher lows. We can look at that and say, you know, if I'm looking to trade altcoins on a Bitcoin break, if Bitcoin breaks bullish, I would rather take TRX than XRP. If Bitcoin breaks bearish, I would rather take XRP than TRX. So that's how we can distinguish which direction to be looking on which names by making notes of the small differences and where they stand in terms of correlation. I can say that TRX is slightly more bullishly correlated to Bitcoin and XRP is slightly more bearish. BNB. Keep an eye on BNB in 2019 just because there's been a couple times this year where it has stood out as a bit stronger than Bitcoin. And we certainly remember when it was doing its own thing and not correlated to Bitcoin, which is no longer the case. But what we have now is a likely lower high that we're going to look for compared to 685. Anything under that's a lower high. There's our support level down at 537. If we lose the four-hour uptrend, then we'll be confident that that lower high has been set. But right now, it's a healthy four-hour bull flag. So we would have to lose the four-hour uptrend, we would form a lower high, and then we'd see a tightening daily range. But it's a little bit behind in terms of everybody else has been consolidating sideways, and BNB has been bullish the past couple of days and has a wider daily range to work with. So this setup favors the bulls, because even if Bitcoin breaks bearish from this tight pattern, BNB is likely to stay in this daily range and hold support and maintain a higher low. And if BNB or if Bitcoin breaks bullish, we'll probably see BNB break 685. So it's a very comfortable position for the bulls to be in because, again, they're more bullishly correlated to Bitcoin. <coughs> so I appreciate you all watching. We should get a break here very shortly into tomorrow, I'd say, probably before you see me again. And I hope you have a good weekend. Do good things. My good thing today is I foliar fed all my house plants and made them nice and happy. Gave them some nutrients, put it on their leaves so they could absorb. And I'm going to put it in the soil as well. Important to give your house plants some nutrients because their soil is obviously very limited in those pots. Some more Iceland to wrap it up and have a good Friday.